students now we start the second part of unit number 2 investment management previous session we have discussed the first part of fixed income securities its valuation management of fixed income securities so in the first part we have discussed the meaning of the term fixed income securities what are its features and what are the different types of fixed income securities like government bonds corporate bonds straight uh, straight bonds then we have uh, discussed about uh, the floating rate bonds and bonds with embedded options all these we have discussed in the previous class previous session and in the previous session we have uh, discussed about what are the different types of returns current yield then we have discussed about uh, yield to maturity nominal yield yield to call how to calculate that one and how to find out the value of a bond the bond with the annual interest and the bond with semi annual interest these are the topics we have discussed and bond theorems of course we have discussed in the previous session now in the second part we are discussing about the management strategies management of fixed income securities we are going to discuss in this second part now the topics to be covered now are first one bond immunization we are going to discuss about bond immunization in examination they will ask you the theory question regarding what is bond immunization so this lecture after listening it will be helpful to you to understand the concept of bond immunization see a bond holder is exposed to interest rate risk the fluctuation in the market rate of interest will affect the return on the bond and also on the value of the bond so in this way every bond holder will be exposed to this risk called interest rate risk so it is necessary for the bond holder to manage this interest rate risk for managing this interest rate risk the bond holder must know the concept of immunization duration and what is maculae's duration what are the uses of duration properties of duration so these concepts should be clear in mind in the mind of uh, bond investors so first we discuss about immunization the bond holder is exposed to interest rate risk due to the change in the interest rate risk the return of the bond and also the uh, value of the bond will get affected will get changed so how it will happen uh, suppose if the duration of the bond is more then definitely the interest rate risk will be more for short duration bonds the interest rate risk will not be high as the duration of the bond will increase the maturity period is more the interest rate risk will be more so what is this interest rate risk we divide the interest rate risk into two types two parts composed of two parts the first part is price risk and the second part is coupon reinvestment risk coupon reinvestment risk the first is price risk as the market rate of interest fluctuates it will affect the market price there is inverse relationship between market rate of interest and the price of the bond if the market rate of interest increases then the price of the bond will fall if the market rate of interest falls down then the price of the bond in the market will increase so this is the risk attached with holding the bond that the market rate of interest will affect the bond value apart from that coupon reinvestment rate see one of the implied assumption for calculating ytm yield to maturity is the return on bonds which we get the coupon interest which the bond holder will get will be reinvested every year it will not be consumed it will be reinvested at what rate it will be reinvested it will be reinvested at ytm but in reality what will happen if the market rate of interest increases market rate of interest increases then the reinvestment of coupon will give you more benefit because you are investing at a higher rate similarly if the market rate of interest will fall down then your return on this reinvestment coupon reinvestment will also come down so there is a risk attached called interest rate risk and both will move in the opposite direction in one part we are gaining the other part we are losing the gaining suppose if the market rate of interest increases then what will happen the price of the bond will decrease but at the same time the return on reinvestment of coupon will increase 
So there is a benefit from reinvestment of coupon and there is a loss in the fall in the market price of the bond. So these two, these two will be opposite in nature. अगर एक इंक्रीज हुआ तो दूसरा डिक्रीज होता एक अप्रिसिएशन अगर बॉन्ड प्राइस अप्रिसिएशन अगर हो रहा तो उधर री इन्वेस्टमेंट रिटर्न विल फॉल डाउन री इन्वेस्टमेंट रिटर्न विल फॉल डाउन सिमिलरली इफ द प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड डिक्रीजेस इफ देर इज अ डिप्रिसिएशन इन द प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड देन देर इज इंक्रीज इन द रिटर्न ऑन री इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ कोपन इंटरेस्ट तो एक बेनिफिट भी हो रहा है एक कॉस्ट भी हो रहा तो ये दोनों को न्यूट्रलाइज करना नल्लीफाई करना द इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस change in the interest rate is called immunization so immunization is the act is the strategy of neutralizing the effect of changes in the market rate of interest market rate of interest on the price of the bond and the return of the bond ye price of the bond return of the bond ko effect ko neutralize karna kis se neutralize karna due to the changes in the market rate of interest this act is called bond immunization This is a concept of bond immunization. Now we'll discuss about duration. Actually, duration is the technique which is used to immunize the bond. Duration is one of the tool and technique, tool or technique in order to immunize the bond. The bond may always there is a risk of interest rate. So, वो interest rate risk से protection करना कैसे protection करेंगे by using the duration. the so duration is the time period of holding the bond at which the effect of this interest rate will be nullified apne bonds ko immunize karna hai protection de rahe to we are finding out by how much period suppose the bond years to maturity the maturity period of a bond is 10 years we calculate for how many years of holding the bond it will neutralize the market rate of interest or interest rate risk kitne saal tak bond rakhne se hamara interest rate risk se protection milega how many years it requires that is called duration in simple words we can say what is the average time period required for holding the bond so that our bond will be immunized from interest rate risk this is the concept of duration so bond holder has to calculate the duration he has to hold the due he has to hold the he has to hold the bond he has to hold the bond till the the interest rate risk is neutralized that is the concept of duration ab your duration calculate karne ke liye one of the famous personality frederick macule he has explained the duration in his own words like it is the weighted average time required for cash flows to occur where the cash flows the present value of cash flows will be used as weights will be used as weights so how much is the weighted average time required to get our cash flows hamare cash flows humko wapas aane ke liye kitna time period chahiye how much time period we require to get back our cash flows where the weights are nothing but the present value of cash flows this is the definition given by uh, given for duration by macules so for calculating macules duration we require the cash flows the required rate of return the period to maturity next modified macules duration this macules duration will be modified to find out the volatility of bond price on the market price of share the volatility what is the sensitivity of the market price on the change in the interest rates so this will give you modified macules duration so we have discussed about bond immunization we have discussed about duration macules and modified now uses of bond duration see the bond holder will make use this duration in order to achieve his objective of investment in bonds normally a bond holder will invest in bonds mainly for the purpose of getting a steady return steady return over the period of the bond and to get back the principal amount on maturity that is the main intention of the bond holder ab ye intention ko complete karne ke liye apne objective ko complete karne ke liye the bond holder will make use this duration in order to make the portfolio he is having a portfolio of bonds he will calculate the duration of each of the bond 
and find out which bond should be held up to what time period so that he can be able to achieve the objective. So users, from user's point of view, this duration concept, immunization concept is very, very important for bond holder to make an appropriate or good strategy of making a portfolio of bonds. Next, properties of bond. See, there are some properties of bond. The properties are, first property we can say, the duration of a zero coupon bond will always be equal to the term to maturity. Pahili property, first property of bond duration is, the duration of a zero coupon bond will always be equal to the years to maturity. Agar for example, a zero coupon bond ka maturity period 10 years hai, to uska duration bhi 10 years. Years to maturity 10 years, duration will also be 10 years. For which type of bond? Zero coupon bond, because there is no cash flow in between. Zero coupon bond jab issue karte hain, to uske upar koi interest nahi milta. Sirf principal amount hi wapas aata. Maturity value hi wapas aayegi. To in between there is no cash flow. That's why the time period, the duration and uh, years to maturity will be equal for zero coupon bond. This is the first bond uh, theorem. This is the bond uh, property. Second bond property is holding coupon rate constant. Normally coupon rate to constant hi rata hai. If the coupon rate is constant, the duration of the bond will be less than its maturity. Agar coupon rate constant agar hai, the duration of the bond will be lower than the maturity period. Agar bond ka maturity period 10 years agar hai, to phir duration uska 10 se kama aega, 8 years aega, 9 years aega, 7 years aega like that. To holding the coupon rate constant, the duration of the bond will be lower than the life of the bond, maturity period of the bond, second property. The third property so it says holding period to holding term to maturity and yield to maturity constant. Time to maturity and a period of maturity and uh, return on maturity is constant. Higher the coupon rate, the lower is the bond's duration. Higher is the coupon rate. Jitna coupon rate, nor normal nominal rate of interest jitna zyada rhenga, utna duration kam ho. Because we are recovering our amount fast. Jitna zyada jaldi cash flow aate rahenga, utna duration amara kam hota jayega. So, keeping the term of the maturity constant and yield to maturity constant, as the coupon rate increases, as the coupon rate is high, the duration will be lower. This is the third property. The fourth property says holding coupon rate constant, bonds duration increases with its term to maturity. Bonds duration increases with its term to maturity. Ditna uh, maturity period zyada rahenga, utna duration bhi zyada hoga. Right? Last, final, fifth, uh, I mean, uh, property of this bond is holding term to maturity and coupon rate constant. Term to maturity, coupon rate are constant. The lower the required rate, the greater will be the duration. Agar required rate of return kam rahenga, to duration zyada hoga. Lower the required rate of return, higher will be the duration. Or higher the required rate of return, lower will be the duration. So these five are the properties of duration. Remember, whatever lecture I am giving here, you can understand if you take a printout from the link below this video. In this video, link, I am providing the material, the theory as well as problems. Go through that theory and problems, you can perfectly understand the concept of what we are discussing now. So we have discussed about the properties of bond duration. Now we will discuss about the types of bond risks. See here, a bond holder will invest the money in bond mainly to get a steady return for a long period of time and to get back the principal amount at the time of maturity. That is the intention. But the returns of the bond will also fluctuate due to the market conditions, due to the market rate of interest. Interest rate of interest, jaisa ya market mein change hote jayenga, market rate of interest change hoga, the return of the market, the return of the bondholder will also get affected due to a number of risks attached with the bond. So what are the risks? What do you mean by risk? Risk means variability of returns. The meaning of risk is variability of 
returns so returns of the bond will fluctuate on account of the different risk the first risk is default risk the default risk will arise due to inability of the issuer of bond either to pay interest or to pay the principal amount this risk is also called default risk or bankruptcy risk or financial risk ye default risk ko kehte hain financial risk or bankruptcy risk in ability of the issuer of bond either to pay the interest amount or to repay the principal amount so always there is some risk attached some risk out of the total risk of the bond holder a part of the risk is default risk inability of the bond issuer to repay then interest rate risk the bond holder will be very much exposed to this type of risk called interest rate risk bond holder invest kara bond mein in order to get a fixed coupon rate lekin market mein jaisa jaisa rate of interest fluctuate hota ja raha hai iska actual return and also the price of the bond will also get affected example if the rate of interest in the market increases the price of the bond will fall down agar market rate of interest 15% ho gaya bond ka coupon rate 10% hai बॉन्ड के ऊपर कोपन रेट 10 परसेंट है मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट 15 परसेंट अगर हो गया तो नो बडी विल बॉदर अबाउट दिस बॉन्ड देर इज नो डिमांड फॉर दिस बॉन्ड द प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड विल फॉल डाउन देर इज कैपिटल डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द बॉन्ड होल्डर बॉन्ड होल्डर विल लूज द मनी सिमिलरली इफ द मार्केट प्राइस मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉल डाउन देन वॉट विल हैपन देर इज अप्रिसिएशन इन द प्राइस ऑफ द बॉन्ड देर विल डिमांड मोर डिमांड इन द मार्केट because the bond are very good in that case the bond holder will gain so there is possibility of gain or loss on account of market rate of interest this is called interest rate risk now callability risk nowadays due to the volatility of market rate of interest many companies are issuing callable bonds so there is always a risk attached the bond holder doesn't know when the company will call back the bonds so there is no surety of getting a cash flow from this bond because there is a risk attached with the bond that the company may call back the bond this is called callability risk then convertibility risk if there is an option there in the bond indenture regarding the convertibility of bond bond are convertible into equity shares then the bond holder doesn't know when the company will when the when we have to convert it into equity shares we won't get the cash flows so this type of risk where the bonds can be converted into equity shares convertibility risk last one is purchasing power risk this is called so also called inflation risk the bond holder will also be affected due to the inflation in the market general price level in the market will change due to inflation the price level will increase the prices of goods and services will increase then whatever the returns on bonds the bond holder is getting that is not the true return because some returns are being swallowed by this inflation by this inflation so inflation rate risk or purchasing power risk so these are the risks which are attached to bonds so bond holder must be aware about these risks attached with the bond the last and final topic of this unit is regarding bond management portfolio strategies a bond holder will not invest all his funds in one bond he will make a portfolio of bonds alag alag company ke bonds kharida hua rehta hai ab usko ye portfolio ko manage karna hai manage karna because the characteristics of the portfolio will not be same as the conditions are changing the characteristics of the bond portfolio will also change so a bond holder has to apply some strategies in order to manage this bond portfolio right so broadly we divide the portfolio management strategies into two that is passive management strategies and active management strategies so two strategies we are going to discuss now now every bond holder wants a steady return for a long period but there are some bond holders who are not concerned about steady return they are concerned about they are concerned about the market price of bond 
they are speculators they will purchase the bond in order to sell it away as soon as the price in changes in the market तो कुछ बॉन्ड होल्डर्स ऐसे रहते हैं कि बॉन्ड में इन्वेस्ट करते हैं ये इंटेंशन से कि आई विल गेट अ स्टडी रिटर्न ऑफ द बॉन्ड फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई एम परचेजिंग द बॉन्ड इन ऑर्डर टू होल्ड द बॉन्ड टिल मैच्योरिटी टिल मैच्योरिटी आई वांट टू एंजॉय द कैश फ्लोस ऑन द बॉन्ड ऑन मैच्योरिटी आई गेट बैक द प्रिंसिपल सम बॉन्ड होल्डर्स विल से सम बॉन्ड होल्डर्स विल इन्वेस्ट मेनली टू टेक द एडवांटेज ऑफ मार्केट रेट मार्केट इंटरेस्ट रेट मार्केट इंटरेस्ट रेट इससे एडवांटेज लेंगे जैसा जैसा मार्केट में कंडीशंस चेंज होंगे मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट चेंज होगा बॉन्ड का प्राइस चेंज होगा बॉन्ड का प्राइस चेंज होगा तो कैपिटल गेन आएगा इन दिस वे वी हैव टू कैटेगरीज ऑफ बॉन्ड इन्वेस्टर्स तो वी विल अप्लाई पैसिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजीज एंड एक्टिव तो पैसिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी फर्स्ट विल फोकस ऑन पैसिव देन विल गो फॉर एक्टिव तो वाइल मैनेजिंग द पोर्टफोलियोज यूजिंग दिस स्ट्रेटेजी इन्वेस्टर्स डू नॉट एक्टिवली इंडल्स इन ट्रेडिंग पॉसिबिलिटीज जब पैसिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी अप्लाई करेंगे तो बॉन्ड होल्डर का ये एजम्पन रहेगा कि आई हैव परचेज द बॉन्ड नॉट फॉर ट्रेड मैं जब बॉन्ड खरीद रहा हूं तो मैं बेचने के लिए इंटेंशन से नहीं खरीद रहा हूं आई एम परचेजिंग द बॉन्ड फॉर होल्डिंग द बॉन्ड टू गेट द एडवांटेज ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ओपन इंटरेस्ट सो थ्री थ्री आई मीन स्ट्रेटेजीज आर देर बाई एंड होल्ड स्ट्रेटेजी इम्यूनाइजेशन स्ट्रेटेजी रिबैलेंसिंग स्ट्रेटेजी पहली स्ट्रेटेजी तो ये है बॉन्ड होल्डर की पैसिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी कि मैं आई एम परचेजिंग द बॉन्ड टू होल्ड नॉट टू सेल सो वाइल चूजिंग दिस बॉन्ड ही हैज टू सेलेक्ट ए गुड बॉन्ड बिकॉज हिज इंटेंशन इज नॉट टू सेल बट टू कीप होल्ड बट टू होल्ड द बॉन्ड तो बाई एंड होल्ड स्ट्रेटेजी इज दैट स्ट्रेटेजी वेयर द बॉन्ड होल्डर इज इंटेंडिंग टू बाय द बॉन्ड एंड एंड टू होल्ड द बैंड कीप द बॉन्ड एंड अर्न द इंटरेस्ट रेट no intention of selling it this is called buy and hold second immunization strategy second strategy the bond holder must adopt is immunizing the interest rate risk market ka jo interest rate risk hai usse immunize karna duration calculate karna maculous duration modified maculous duration all these things you have to apply in order to i mean make a good portfolio of bonds ye hai immunization rebalancing strategy always the characteristics or bond duration volatility will not be same for all the bonds sare bonds ka volatility ek jaisa nahi rehta every bond ke characteristics alag hai to bond holder has to balance rebalance time to time time to time check karte jana kaun kiska duration kam ho raha kiska duration zyada ho raha kiska volatility different ho gaya is tarah balancing rebalancing he has to do in order to manage and maintain the portfolio of bonds so these three are called passive management strategies which a bond holder will adopt second one is active management strategies the active management strategies will be applied by those by those bond holders whose intention is not to make not to buy and hold the bond for a long period but buying the bond in order to sell it away as soon as the conditions are favorable in the market so there are some investors who invest their money for price appreciation potential not for income protection so some investors invest not for income but for price appreciation market mein price appreciate ho jata to market mein price kaisa appreciate hota suppose the market rate of interest falls down मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अगर मैं सपोज एक्टिव इन्वेस्टर हूं मैं इन्वेस्ट कर दिया बॉन्ड में मैं ये एक्सपेक्टेशन देखूंगा कि मार्केट में रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट क्या हो रहा है अगर मार्केट में रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉल डाउन कम हो रहा है तो डेफिनेटली प्राइस ऑफ बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज वेन प्राइस ऑफ बॉन्ड इंक्रीज आई गेट कैपिटल अप्रिसिएशन कैपिटल गेन मैं ये बॉन्ड खरीद लूंगा मैं ये बॉन्ड इसलिए खरीदूंगा क्योंकि मेरा एक्सपेक्टेशन है कि आने वाले मंथ्स में आने वाले ईयर में मार्केट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉल डाउन हो जाएगा तो ये बॉन्ड का प्राइस बढ़ेगा तो मैं अपना सेल कर दू सेल कर दू तो ये इंटेंशन से ही इज परचेजिंग द बॉन्ड दिस आर कॉल्ड एक्टिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजीज अब एक्टिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजीज के लिए टू कॉमनली यूज एक्टिव मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी तो टू कॉमनली यूज आर फोरकास्टिंग चेंजेस इन इंटरेस्ट रेट्स and identifying mispricing among securities pehla kaam active management strategy mein pehla ye hai ke forecasting interest 
rate changes by using yield curve by using yield curve and horizon analysis horizon analysis ye do technique ko use karke he will predict he will forecast what would be the interest rate changes to kuch techniques apply karke bond holder estimate karega ke market mein aane wale months mein aane wale years mein kitna interest rate change hoga wo hisab se unhe bonds ko apne maintain karega right ye first active management strategy forecasting changes सेकेंड आइडेंटिफाई मिस प्राइसिंग एमंग द सिक्योरिटीज अब पोर्टफोलियो में बहुत सारे सिक्योरिटीज है उसमें मिस प्राइसिंग है कुछ सिक्योरिटीज का इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू अलग है और मार्केट वैल्यू अलग है सम बॉन्ड्स इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू इज डिफरेंट मार्केट वैल्यू इज डिफरेंट सो देर इज डिफरेंट ऑन मिस प्राइजिंग मिस प्राइजिंग बिटवीन इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू एंड द मार्केट प्राइस टू टेक द एडवांटेज एग्जाम्पल एक बॉन्ड का प्राइस मालूम करे इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू मालूम करे वन थाउजेंड रुपीज आ रहा मार्केट में वो बॉन्ड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड रुपीज में बिक रहा तो इमीडिएटली वो बॉन्ड को बेच देंगे क्योंकि मार्केट में ओवर प्राइज है मार्केट में ओवर प्राइज है सिमिलरली एक बॉन्ड का इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करे द इंट्रेंसिक वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड इज वन थाउजेंड रुपीज वेर एज द सेम बॉन्ड इज बॉट एंड सोल्ड इन द मार्केट इज ट्रेडेड इन द मार्केट फॉर एट हंड्रेड रुपीज तो जो बॉन्ड का वन थाउजेंड रुपीज होना चाहिए मार्केट में एट हंड्रेड रुपीज में ट्रेड हो रहा है तो द बॉन्ड होल्डर इमीडिएटली द पर्सन द इन्वेस्टर इमीडिएटली विल बाय द बॉन्ड बिकॉज इट इज अंडर प्राइज इन द मार्केट दिस इज कॉल्ड टेकिंग द एडवांटेज ऑफ मिस प्राइजिंग इन द मार्केट तो दीज आर द स्ट्रैटेजीज कॉल्ड बॉन्ड पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज विच बॉन्ड होल्डर विल अप्लाई दिस इज द एंड ऑफ थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ यूनिट नंबर टू तो थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ यूनिट नंबर टू फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज इट्स एनालिसिस एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड वैल्यूएशन एनालिसिस वैल्यूएशन एंड मैनेजमेंट सो ब्रीफली इन फाइव मिनट वी कैन बी एबल टू फिनिश ऑफ दिस वन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट आर फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज आर बॉन्ड्स एंड डिबेंजेस बॉन्ड्स एंड डिबेंजेस bonds are those security fixed income security which are issued by the government normally and debentures are in, traditionally in india we call it as corporate bonds as debenture corporate bonds ko hum india mein traditionally debentures kehte hain but really debentures and bonds are one and the same the characteristics are same then we have discussed about the different types of bonds then we have discussed about uh, the return on bonds what are the different types of return कोपन रेट नॉमिनल ईल्ड इज देर ईल टू मेच्योरिटी करंट ईल्ड ईल टू कॉल डिफरेंट थिंग्स वी हैव डिस्कस देन टू इन दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्यूनाइजेशन ऑफ बॉन्ड अबाउट द ड्यूरेशन मैक्यूलेस ड्यूरेशन यूजर्स प्रॉपर्टीज एंड रिस्क अटैच विद बॉन्ड एंड लास्टली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बॉन्ड पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रैटेजीज आफ्टर लिस्निंग दिस लेक्चर go through the material which i have provided in the link definitely you will get a good knowledge about fixed income securities in the next session i am going to start the problems a number of problems are there broadly we divide the problems into three categories the three categories are first type of problems are valuation of bond how to calculate the present value or intrinsic value of a bond two categories annual bond and semi annual bond first type of problem second type of problems are calculating the return of bonds nominal yield then current yield then yield to maturity yield to call ytm ytc ye sab calculate karenge second type ke problems third type ke last type ke problems mein hum calculate karenge duration how to find out the duration how to find out the modified duration so these are the different types of problems we are going to take up in the next session